Good morning guys. Just arrived from work. Uh, I'm night today. 6 to 6. Time now is half past 7. Uh, well, rotation now is a 4 on, 4 off. So this is my third night. Meron pa akong may sarap pa akong uh, shift na karot sa gabi. So sa kadyang video, I'm going to talk to you about my work here in England not all of you knows what I'm doing in here um, I work as a security officer in one of the hospital here in then um, yung sistema dito ng security is may kapagkapareo din sa Pilipinas um, you need to have your license that was issued by the uh, security industry authority issued by the government of uh, England pero may ma may classification ang bawat security uh, may 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 genre na ginatawag na security license only there is a door supervision license there is a CCTV security license and there is a man guarding or VIP protection license so what I had is a, a door supervi supervisor um, license so, from that, I'm allowed to work in the establishment like pubs here or uh, work as a door supervisor, working the doors. Uh, pag security ka mga ano lang yan, building, mga sa building or more on um, mga street uh, ano pa ba yung ano nila still was lower than sub door supervisor ngayon uh, my our role is here in the hospital working in the hospital is uh, to monitor all the activities in the hospital uh, we work hand in hand in the staff here but our main role is really dealing with the patients reported to us by the staff actually but the I will just give or will tackle the three main uh, uh, problems that we always encounter in here what kind of patients that we always encounter um first patients who are under the influence of alcohol next is drugs and the last one is mental health issue kasi rudya sa england kapag may lasing who are nalasing and then na uh, nabangasan na wala, tatawag yan ng emergency, emergency services may tatawag sa emergency services ngayon, kung, kung magpipick ka doon pag tumawag ka sa emergency services tatanungin ka, what kind of emergency services do you want so ipipick mo yan doon maybe ambulance because nabangasan ganun. so ngayon dating ang ambulance dyan sa kung saan man yung report mo kita nila yung lasing doon bangas bangas dukuan ang nangyayari niyan they will encourage or they will talk the ambulance crew will talk to the person involved that he needs to be brought in the hospital if he agrees it's good but if from there he don't want to he try to be aggressive and in and then the medical team uh, really think that he needs 
to be brought in the hospital, you will call the police. Now the police will arrive, then that's the time they are going to talk, or the police also will talk to the person, and if he will submit himself without any occurrence or free will, it's okay. Uh, but still, they will, he will be escorted, the ambulance will be escorted going to the hospital, but pag yan ay naging aggressive, abusive towards the police also, they will handcuff him, bring it into the hospital. So, anong expect mo ngayon? Pagdating sa hospital, gawala yan. So, but for the moment, habang nag ano yan, hindi kalmado ng konti, ang police magstay yan dyan sa kanila. Ngayon, the tendency niyan is the police will find ways to get rid of this patient and will transfer it to the security. Ngayon, let's say, like video ko malma na, nag-uusap sila ng police at saka yung staff dyan, yeah, sino, kung sino man yung sister in charge. So ngayon, pag dumating yan dyan and then, pakalmahin yan ng konti ng mga police and then we'll talk to the sister in charge of the ANE or the emergency department that they're gonna leave and then yung staff ngayon magingian ng ano, security kung for example it is abusive or aggressive ang patient so they will call, call us so ngayon ang, sa, on our side we will go there, respond We'll ask the situation, what's the status of the patient? Ngayon, on triage, ito triage, yung tinatawag na triage niya, assessment ng, ng bawa, kung sino man yung staff, is, uh, he needs to be really stay in the hospital. But the hospital, uh, but we cannot stop the patient if he still got capacity. Yung capacity is to decide para sa ana nga kaugalingan para sa ana ana nga kamayad ang ana nga desisyon mayad ang ana desisyon pero kung hindi rian makita kang staff the can deem the patient no capacity so no capacity pag dinim yan na no capacity ang patient right away he is not allowed to leave the uh, premises the hospital premises now, if he insists to leave, and that's the time that we gonna stop him. But if he become aggressive, abusive, and try to lash out, that's the time also na he pin down namin. Restrain him to the floor. However, restrain him. Basta hindi siya pwedeng umalis. Because he got no capacity. Delicado. Iyan yung dahilan dyan. Then, let him go. Well, let him put up. Uh, we'll bring him to his cubicle or what ward he belong. Ngayon, uh, that is for the uh, drunk alcohol uh, situation. Pag drugs, it's almost the same with drugs. Ano bang expect mo rin sa drugs? Of course, nadalhin niya ng ambulance dyan. Kung yan, naglalas out yan, tatawag niya ng police. Tala, ganun din ang situation. Pagdating sa E&E, I have uh, dep depende, depende sa sitwasyon. Na, uh, sa condition ng ano, ng pasyente. So, Meron sila ngayon tinatawag dito na ano eh, na oh, monkey dust. Yung monkey dust yung kapag na high siya, doon is parang yung attitude niya is parang naging monkey. Yung ano siya, galaw ng galaw, ganun. Pero ano ko yan eh, ang tingin ko yan, siya buyan eh. 
parang shabo sa atin. Pag nakasyabo ka, is high na high ka, buhay na buhay ka ba, malikot ka, ganyan, magalaw ka. So, parang tingin ko yun yung kuha niya. Ang effect niya also. Ganyan. So, ano rin ang gagawin namin dyan? So, the same process. Kapag high sa drug siya, talagang delikado. So, the doctor right away will check him. Then, for example, he will deem no capacity for that. So, nandiyan kami. Kami ang mag-ano dyan. Mag- uh, lock over for the moment. So, yan yan talaga. Nag-awaros yan. Kung sa atin, nag-awaros, nagwawala. Uh, no, so, restrain. Either restrain him on the floor, restrain him on the bed, chair, or depende. So, mahaba-haba ang ano yan kasi 12 hours eh ang amon nga shift for sometimes kung talagang continuous siya na ano uh, we coordinate with the staff to sedate him yeah sedate him para magtulog yan mm. pero depende rin yan sa ano eh sa, iti-check muna yan ng doc iti-check muna ng doktor yan kung pwede kung okay siya na isa date kasi baka kung may mga na effect pag sinedate siya pag okay sa date yan so that's the time na ang makatulog yan so we stood down stood down from that one so when it comes naman sa patient na mental health ganun din ang process mental health is more delikado rin kasi mental health issue eh so problema sa pag-iisip either depression maraming dahilan uh, ano ba ba nag-overdose ng mental health siya glass out he wants to hang himself he wants to jump in the braids ganoon yan sila dito eh. so somebody gonna call ambulance then uh, ambulance will bring the patient to the hospital Pag, pero pag uh, gano'n na mga case niyan, i-triads nila yung sandali and then we'll coordinate right away to the uh, mental health practitioner. So, pero matagal din yan kasi ilan lang yung staff ng mental health practitioner din. So, depende kung mara, na, ano, na, may, may queue. So, nagwawala rin yan. Ganun. Kaya yun ang naging problema. <clears throat> Hanggang ang doktor niya, sasabihin ng doktor niya na ano, uh, the patient has no capacity until was seen by the mental health practitioner. Now, the mental health practitioner will be the one to determine if he is okay to go home or they will find uh, another shelter like para doon sa mga um, pwede nilang mastihan yung may mga ano ba, mental uh, health facility. So, ilalagay nila yan doon sa so, section hanggang maging okay. Now, uh, the same din yan. Kung gusto niyang umalis, na uh, nadim na no capacity mental health issue, ganun din ang ginagawa namin. Um, restrain hanggang maging okay. Uh, meron kami case dyan na nine ng patient nang ihead bat eh head batin ka pero more on mura mura lang naman dito abusive ganun pero pwede mo yan eh no idalhin sa court kapag uh, naging abusive siya sa iyo pwede mong kasuhan ba dito <clears throat> so uh then uh, yan ang process ng mga ano dito Uh, ng security security sa hospital ngayon may batas kasi dito sa may ano sa may uh, UK na regarding NHS ng uh, anybody a patient o hindi man na magkukos lang ng noise sa uh, hospital uh, the police can uh, the police and security can remove 
him from the or her from the premises in its premises so yan yung nangyayari kapag nag ano yan uh, making noise sounds yung staff niya tatawag niya sa amin security pwedeng na yun i-remove siya kasi it's just making noise sounds so kapag nag-agree uh, agree kaming dala ang staff at, at saka security na okay we'll remove him so that's it escort him out off site So, ang cases niyan, siyempre magwawala yan kapag sinabihan mo na ano, free to go siya. Uh, he needs to go. He needs to leave the premises. So, sabihin niya, kailangan pa ako i-treat ng ano, no, you're not, uh, no, they are, uh, no. Kasi, yun, dinedecline na ang um, uh, in its staff na i-treat siya because uh, laging ugali niya, ganun. So, magwawala na yan. So, doon na kami niya restrain again and then bring him off-site. Pag nag-continue pa rin siya na nagwawala, mag-resuntukan niya yan. So, restrain lang yan namin, tatawag na kami ng polis. And then the police will be the one to deal with it. So, restrain him. Ang nangyayari, restrain namin hanggang dumating yung mga polis. And then mga polis sila na yung take over. So, that's it really. Ah, yan na yung mga big problems na ano, na-encounter na-encounter ko in my experience ba. Then, those three patients also na laging maririnig nyo na ang NHS staff is na-abuse because of those patient, kind of patient who are alcoholic under the influence of alcohol, under the influence of drugs, and then and then the last one is a uh, mental health issue. So, but sabi ko namin eh, kapag yung tamang patient naman na dumadating talaga, may, may sakit talaga, is um, hindi naman na-abuse yung mga staff dito. Okay naman, smooth ang mga ano. Ang, ang shift namin sometimes mababa na yung dalawa or tatlo na ejection yung kinikick out sa hospital premises every shift mm. so ay mga aggression sometimes kasi or uh, Uh, problems na encounter namin na nasusolve uh, na, okay, pabaya ako lang as long as hindi na nanakit okay, mag-abusive siya dyan uh, verbal abusive but uh, lagi namin, lagi yan ano, siyempre nandyan kami sinasabihan na try to calm, kinakalm down namin kinakalm as namin sila na mag-calm down So, that's it really guys for today. Uh, about about that, comment ka mo kung ano inyong uh, makomment. Mm, sa mga amigo, kag mga umiga nga hindi pa ka mo nga nakapag, hindi pa nakapag subscribe, subscribe ka mo. Then, hit that bell notification para pag nag post ako kang iba nga video bago nga video manotify ka mo da yun then you can follow me in my instagram and face, facebook my twitter uh, ililink ko lang below ang ah, instagram instagram, uh, facebook and twitter <clears throat> so doon nga salamat sa inyo nga oras sana nag-enjoy ka mo kang akin nga mensay or ang akin nga gin paathag ka ninyo. Uh, sa sunod nga video. Kita ay kita liwan. <laughs>